Okay, so in this video, we will look at an example of a very simple limit that can go horribly wrong if instead of using an elementary technique, you apply L'Hopital's rule blindly. So here again, we will first find the limit using an elementary technique. As x tends to infinity, we have a ratio of two functions. The biggest term on top is x, as it is the only term. On the bottom, well, when x tends to infinity, x squared is way bigger than the plus 1, so the plus 1 doesn't really matter. So what we have on the bottom is roughly root of x squared, which is also x. So we guess that this limit should be equal to, as x over x is 1, equal to 1. So again, the idea is simply to divide top and bottom by the dominant term, which here is x. So we simply do times 1 over x on the numerator over 1 over x on the denominator. So the numerator will become quite simply x over x, which is 1, over, and here we're going to have on the denominator the root of x squared plus 1 over x. And now we want to bring this x inside so as to cancel the x squared. Well, what we want to use, of course, is the following property. The root of a over root of b is simply the square root of a over b. So for this to happen, or be useful here, x must be the square root of something. As x tends to positive infinity, x is positive, and so x is quite simply the square root of x squared. So the limit becomes 1 over, and again replacing x by the root of x squared, and using this property, we have the root of x squared plus 1 over the root of x squared. So this becomes the root of x squared plus 1 over x squared. But if we divide through, x squared over x squared is 1 plus 1 over x squared. And now the limit is trivial. As x tends to infinity, 1 over x, shrinks to z 1 over x squared shrinks to 0. And we're left with 1 over the square root of 1, which is 1, so the limit, as we had guessed initially, is simply 1. So again, an example of an elementary limit tackled by or with an elementary technique gives us a one-line solution. Now let's see, as we have, obviously when x tends to infinity, an infinity over infinity case, let's see what happens if we blindly apply L'Hopital's rule and we do nothing else along the way, but again, blindly applying L'Hopital's rule. Let's see what happens. And as we're about to see, things will go horribly wrong here. As we've just said, we have an infinity over infinity case. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule. The derivative of the numerator is simply 1. Now if you think of the square root being a power of 1 half, then we must differentiate x squared plus 1 to the power of 1 half. By the power rule, we get 1 half times x squared plus 1. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. That's the derivative of the exponent. By the chain rule, we have to multiply by the derivative of the argument, which is 2x. And if we simplify this, the 1 half times the 2 cancels. We'll keep the x on the numerator. And if we send this down, the power becomes a positive 1 half power which we can replace by a square root. So the derivative of root of x squared plus 1 is simply x over root of x squared plus 1. Well, we can simplify here a little bit. We have 1 over a fraction, so we can then simply 
look at the reciprocal of the fraction so we'll have root of x squared plus 1 over x now two things first it's interesting to see that after one application of L'Hopital's rule what happened is we got the exact same expression but if you look it's the reciprocal x ended up on the denominator and the root of x squared plus 1 ended up on the numerator and again at this point we could work it out we've already done so right here right when we looked at the root of x squared plus 1 over x we simply replaced x by the root of x squared which we could do here then we'd have the root of x squared over x squared which is 1 the 1 over x squared which would go to 0 and then the limit here would simply go to 1 if we think of doing this like I said suppose that we are an autopilot and all we see is that as x tends to infinity we have yet again an infinity over infinity case and we don't think of anything else but using L'Hopital's rule well let's see what happens so we have to replace the numerator by its derivative well we've already done so if we differentiate the square root of x squared plus 1 we get x over the root of x squared plus 1 over the derivative of 1 which is 1 but of course if we divide by 1 nothing happens and here's the limit that we have after applying L'Hopital's rule twice and look at how interesting this is what was the original limit? x tends to infinity and the function was x over the root of x squared plus 1 and we're right back to where we started so the conclusion here is quite simple we had again an elementary limit we could find this limit using an elementary method which gave us a one-line solution and the limit was simply one instead if we blindly apply L'Hopital's rule so we're an autopilot well we apply L'Hopital's rule once the function is a little different we apply L'Hopital's rule twice and we are right back to the exact same original limit which means if you keep applying L'Hopital's rule forever you will forever go in circles this will be the limit then this then this and go back to this this and this and forever on this will simply alternate between this limit and this limit and as the case will always be infinity over infinity L'Hopital's rule here applied blindly will never yield the answer so the conclusion is of course when you have an elementary limit that can be tackled using an elementary method you want to use the elementary method